the day, guys and gals. This is the X Shot. Sorry, the Zuru X Shot Bug Attack Rapid Fire, which is this, and the Eliminator. The Eliminator is a new kind of weapon for me. The Rapid Fire is a uh, reflex revolver, I believe is the name. Uh, might be the Barrel Breaker. No, I think the Barrel Breaker is a spinning one, so it is, it's, it's basically a re re-chassis of the Barrel Breaker. Sorry, no, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It is a re-chassis of the reflex revolver, um, but with the bug attack color scheme and the goo. And also instead of cans, they come with the bugs that you can throw at the wall and let them crawl down. Boom, 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 boom. So let's get into this. I'm excited. There's this, and then I have one more that I just, oh, I just can't wait to show you guys and gals. I cannot wait to show you the last one. Because it's one that I was like, oh, I need this in my life. I really just wanted this because I love the idea of a shotgun. This is an a brake loading shotgun. I'm going to stop doing this part and just get to the unboxing because I'm excited. Now, since I've essentially already given you all the rundown on what the stuff is in here, I'm just going to tear this tear the baby apart. So tear it to shreds. Oh, yeah. Time for some speed. Okay, so the thing about this is it comes with 24. Remember the different like series of X Shot come in different colors. So in this case, the bug shots are like the, the teal bodies with the lime green caps. Um, probably not gonna open these, I'm gonna use the other ones because they're all the same. X Shot darts are all the same, they're just different colors based on the series. Uh, they give you 24, it's something I'm forgetting to do. A little bit of math that I have to do with this. 24 darts are what you get. The Eliminator. Looks like it has a cap on here that snapped on and off. Yeah, according to this, it snapped on and off. Um, the Eliminator takes two. It's front loaded. The Rapid Fire takes six. Also front loaded. So you should technically be able to fire any kind of dart at them. I just want to check and make sure there's anything. So you're not supposed to take the front off, but you can if you want to. Um, rotating barrel, be priming, put it in, put it in, fire at it, but bam, nothing really too special about these. Um, but I got my four kinds of darts. We got 10 strike elites, accuracy strikes, waffle darts, X shot darts. I'm not gonna open these since they're already closed. No point in me doing that. Uh, let's just load up, make sure everything fires. I suspect it will because everything's front loaded. Shouldn't be a problem. They actually fit in there real far, so regular darts are going to stick out the front. Oh, that feels kind of cheap, I'm not going to lie. I also don't know if this fires one at a time or not. We'll find out. It's slow-mo time. It fires one at a time. Waffle darts. That's pretty satisfying. And strike elite. They actually fit in there as well. So it's pretty much made to do all that. Oh, that grip is real nice. Slow-mo. Active strike. That one just said, bye, I'm out. 
next up, we're gonna load the egg shot up with some waffle darts first. Sorry, they're both egg shots. I didn't help you at all now, did it? This is the rapid fire. No, I don't suspect. Actually, you know what we can do? We make this easier. I'm only gonna put one in because I know already that they're gonna fire. There, it's obviously gonna fire X shot darts because they're X shot darts, and this is an X shot revolver. So two waffle darts, two Accu strike. They're usually the problem, guys. Uh, one X shot, one in strike elite. We're gonna slow mo it. Let's go. You guys saw that but that was quite an overarching shot the eliminator feels like where you leave your hand and stuff feels great but the actual gun does not feel great i feel like this priming mechanism is gonna break really easy. however the rapid fire feels really good it doesn't sound good it sounds very very cheap but it just, it just feels good. I think it's this textured grip that I don't think the barrel breaker, no, sorry, the reflex revolver has. It's, it's just, it feels, it, feels, it feels good. It feels really good. But we're gonna run right over to the shooting range. I'm not rushing through this because like, I feel like I have to get this out quicker. I have to get better at them. Sure, I would love to get better at blaster reviews, but the reason I'm running through this real quick is actually because I'm super excited and I want to fire these. Because for some reason, I saw this and I was like, mm, this is the shotgun that I want, even though I really like the Eliminator. Um, um, but yeah, we're going to run over the shooting range. I already have it set up. I'm super excited to fire these bad boys. Let's fire guys and gals. Let's start with the Eliminator. I'm going to go two, 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 two. Let's see how many things I can actually hit with it. We're going to start with AccuStrike. Because I want to be accurate. That sounded super creepy. It sounded so much less creepy in my head. I'm just super excited. All right, here we go. There is an iron sight on this, but because of the way she, uh, the way the prime handle holds back, I can't really see the iron sights. Okay, okay, okay. Right, Alright, we're switching to X shot darts. We're gonna push those bad boys way down in the chamber. Way down. That was satisfying. Leap darts come up next. There we go. The leap dart curve. That was spot on exactly where I was aiming. Finally, we come to waffle darts. Let's see if I can hit some of these single hands. Oh, yeah. Still firing a little higher than I would expect it to. Just kind of rolling the cell. I hit on the ricochet. I'll count that. I'll count that. So that was the eliminator. Oh, the eliminator is. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys that in my, my my little thing at the end. Oh, the eliminator is the perfect size. Oh yes. Through the magic of editing, this will all be fixed in a moment. All right, guys and gals. I have the rapid fire, so I've got six waffle darts. Let's start the ship. It also has a bit of a sight, but so let's see how far it works. Uh, fire is lower than the sight. 
little bit to the right of where I think it's going. So, a little adjustment. That one came out absolutely perfect. One shot left. Ooh, that felt good. That felt real good. Next, we'll move on to AccuStart darts. My AccuStrikes are loaded and ready. Let's go. Take it. That one went way higher than I was expecting. One last. X shot darts are coming in next. I'm gonna do my best to knock out the seal. We're ready, firing now. I'm sure you guys can see that one just curve. Shot. I'll take it. Last but not least, stocked up and ready to go with N Strike Elites. Let's see if we can take out these last set of commands. Nope, curving to the left after they come out wide. Oh, rejected. Just missed. I'll take that one. That one, the one shot left. Oh, rejected. Oh, okay, okay. So first of all, I don't know if other people are gonna hold it like this, but this is like the absolute perfect sized grip. My my trigger finger goes up in the trigger area, and then this little part down here is just like the perfect size for the rest of my fingers. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So this is the rapid fire. Uh, what I was trying to tell you guys before, I was trying to spin it on the finger, but it is not properly weighted. <laughs> it's, it is very difficult. It'll be very difficult to spin it around your finger. I'm also a righty and not a lefty, so it should technically be easier here, but it is very, very front heavy, and it makes spinning it around your fingers very difficult. However, what I wanted to show you before was that the Eliminator is the perfect size for when it's not about to be fired for you to leave it like this and feel like a freaking bad. Oh, oh, I mean, you could hold it like this. Like this is the perfect size as well for your grip, but no, this is meant for you to pretend you're on and hold it with one hand. Though I feel like it should have been cut here and then it wouldn't have been perfect, but then you wouldn't have been able to leave it up here and have it feel so perfect. This is, this is perfect. And also what I said before was not entirely true. I was saying that the rapid fire was built off this, like just a re chassis. I mean, probably the innards are the same, but this has a different weight. And I was right about the grips. The, oh, the rapid fire has this really, really nice textured grip that like you can hold on to. Whereas the TK6, I'm just gonna call it the TK6 because I forgot what the actual name is. But it's also the model number is TJ6. Uh, it's got nothing there, and you kind of slip and slide around, which is a little weird. But they are essentially the same gun. I'm trying to hold it properly, but it's in reverse for me. Sorry. The like actual plastic molding is also a little bit different on the two of them. I can hold them in the same direction, and the weight of everything on them is slightly different. Like the weight of this plunger and trigger is more than it is on the rapid fire. The rapid fire feels like it's not tuned as well as the TK6, but I don't know. I'll tell you on the battlefield which one of these actually works better. <laughs>